Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 11th of November 2023. I hope you are keeping well. It's evening here in Bangkok. I'm about to go to bed but I'll play this game first. I must admit I've got a little bit of a headache. Um, um, my options I feel are a bit limited now. Now that I know that paracetamol actually uh, is only slightly better than placebo in tests. Since I found that out a couple months back, I didn't know that before. Um, I'm never sure whether I should be taking any, uh, but if I do take some paracetamol before I go to bed, I should be trying to convince myself that it works in order for the placebo effect to take, to take root <laughs> in my conscience and for the medicine to work. Placebo effect, of course, is a real thing. Um, and uh, so, uh, but it, I, it's kind of unknown exactly how we how it works, um, you know. So I'm not sure we can convince ourselves that if we, if we know that it's placebo that it will work. But um, anyway, I might take some before I head off to bed, which will not be long now. I can see two things on the. Oh no, what I was going to mention that uh, before I get started. Um, yeah, normally when there are earthquakes around. Um, that's bad, of course, for people surround, you know, people around, and uh, we're worried about property falling down, etc., etc., and aftershocks, and there can be severe damage. But it's generally uh, after the aftershocks have subsided, it's normally it normally comes to an end. But if you are happen to be if you happen to be in Iceland, uh, well, it's far more dangerous, and uh, there have been a series of earthquakes in Iceland. And because it, it's full of so many active volcanoes, there is a danger of lava erupting all around the place. So that's even more terrifying. <laughs> it's a Hollywood movie scenario. Oh, I've seen three things now. Okay, what? I should just continue talking until I see the rest of the puzzle. <laughs> okay, this is LA Times expert level game. Let's tell you what I've seen. I've seen ones blocking across here like this. I've seen fives blocking down here like this. There. I've seen... Uh, what's the other thing I've seen? Fours blocking across here like this. And I think I saw something else as well, but I've it's gone out of my mind. And no, that's the other thing I saw. Yes, nine blocking up here and nine across there, so nine in those squares blocking up and up. That means that has to be a nine. Pretty good start. In fact, there's more than nine blocks across here. That puts nine in one of those three squares there. Nine blocking this way, nine up there. That has to be a nine. Uh, pretty good start, really. Although that's not indicative of the uh, total length of time the puzzle could take. It could end up being a very slow game. Uh, just because it had a fast beginning doesn't mean it's going to have a fast ending, of course. Um, but we do have five up, down and across here as well. So there we go. some strange sounds if I believed in ghosts I would be worried but I don't so <laughs> I don't know what that was but anyway no idea what that strange sound was but anyway let's get back on with the game instead uh, two blocks these two squares so that's going to put two in that square what will we be left with three and eight down here by the looks of it Three and eight. Hmm, strange sounds. I think it must be the wood. I have a wooden floor and the air conditioning is on. So I think it's the uh, wood expanding and contracting. 
making strange cracking sounds. Anyway, what was I saying? Three and eight are in here. This is one. Uh, four could be anywhere. And six is down here, so that doesn't help a great deal. We do have five and seven here, five and seven here, so that's a pair of five and seven. So now when the ones block down here like this, that is going to be a one. And now we can say one across here and one down there. So that will be our one, one across here, one across here, and one down there will be a one, one up here, one down there, one across there. My headache seems to be slightly less throbbing than when I began the puzzle just a few minutes ago so um, maybe uh, there's some kind of relief in Sudoku three and six block this square that means three and six must be over here and this must be a two Uh, now, I said 5 and 7 blocking across here. This was a pair of 5 and 7. And I now see the 3 and 8 blocking down here. So that means these two squares contain 3 and 8. And it also means that these two squares must contain 3 or 8, right? Now we've got the 8 blocking across here. So this is the 8. And this will be the 3. This is 3, 8. This is five seven, so this is two nine. So two up here, two across there, there's our two. five seven down here it means this is going to be five seven and it also means that this square here cannot be five or seven right let's investigate then it's not one two three four five could be six not seven it's not eight it's not nine it is six six box down here that gives me a six in that square six across here and up here like this means that that's a six six up here there's our six five blocks across here here's our five this will be seven this will be seven seven down here seven up there there's a seven we can place seven blocking across here here is our seven the missing number here is a four four blocking down puts four into this square nine blocks across here here's our nine this will be a three the last number to place here eight five blocking across like this of course we have five and seven there before I did work out a long time ago but it's gone out of my mind now Th 
three blocks this square. That means this, in fact, will be our three, and this will be our eight. I think it was eight, wasn't it? Yes. Eight across here, eight down here. Here's our eight. The last number to place here is uh, three. Three across here, three down here. There's our three. Three up here, three across there. There's our three. And not much more to go now. What are the last two numbers down here? We still need a two and we still need an eight so the two blocks across there that will be the two that will be the eight four blocks this square there's our four this will be nine nine up here nine across here I hope this was the expert level game seems a bit easy actually um, may have accidentally clicked on the wrong link again I did that fairly recently this will be a 2, and this will be 8. 8 across here and there. There's our 8. 1, 5, and 8 are finished. The others are left. There's a single digit here now. What is that? Is it a 2? I believe it is. And the missing number here is a 9. Um, we have nine blocking across and up here, so this will be a nine. The last number to place here is, um, don't know, three, yeah. And three up here and three across there, so there's a three. The last number across here is six. Six blocking down here, there's our six. This will be four, four, excuse me. Four blocking up here, there's the four. Uh, missing number here is seven. Seven blocks up there, there's our seven, there's our two. So that, I hope that was the expert level game. If it was not, you already knew that from the start, right? Because you saw my uh, thumbnail. Anyway, that's it for the weekend. Uh, no, that's it for Saturday. Sorry, we've still got Sunday left, haven't we? Good luck sudoku -ing. Uh, on your weekend. Bye-bye.